A CLI tool such as NX is designed to run in the command line. That's where you run the commands. But how do you know which commands you can run, which commands are available? Well, you go to the docs, you browse the command line interface help commands, flags, if they are present, but it can be kind of tedious. And so what we did with NX already quite a while ago is we built dedicated extensions for your code editor. And we started with NX console, which was highly popular and is still highly popular with over one or two million installs. And just recently, we also expanded that support to also work on IntelliJ, on WebStorm, and even on NeoWim at a more basic level. And we keep improving in X. So one thing that we recently added is to declutter the UI with all those options that are available and just show you the most important ones. So I'm here in a React standalone setup with an X. And if I open up an X console and I want to generate a new library, then I just see the most important options up here right now. So I see the name, I see the unit test runner, I see the bundler and the directory where I want to generate that library. This is also reflected on the table of contents here on the side. If I want to have more options, then I can go and hit that show more button. And that will then expand to all the options that are available, which is a ton more. So I can choose the app project if it's applicable. I can choose the compiler I want to use, whether I want to generate the default component, whether I want to introduce global CSS, specify an import path. All those things can be further specified down here, but you only need them if you want to dig a bit deeper. 90% of the time, you probably just need those top level up here. So this already helps a lot in terms of the developer experience, like when people use these actually. And this also reflects on the command line. So if we invoke those commands, such as generating a library, and I use the dash dash help command, it will show me all the various possibilities I have in this generator. Now, all the top level important ones show up directly here. So you see again, the name bundle and directory will show up here and then followed by all the other options that are potentially available. So having seen this, if you're a plugin author or if you even just automate your local NX workspace, you might be curious like how you can actually control this. And so if you go to the NX docs, there is a new flag that is called X priority which allows you to actually indicate either important or internal or just not mention it at all. And you specify that at the various flags or options that your generator provides. So if you go back to our Visual Studio Code Editor, for instance, and this is the React library generator that we are looking at here, we can actually go and have a look at the actual source of how this is being implemented. And so this is already installed here in our local workspace. So we can actually just go ahead here, go to add novel, go to React, dive in here a bit into the generators, and then we should see here our library generator, which comes with a schema JSON. And the schema JSON basically defines how that generator looks like, which option it has, and it is also what is being parsed by NX console or what is being shown on the help page. And so basically what we could do is we could go ahead and go, for instance, to something like the import path and declare that with an X priority of important. And so having specified that, now if we again run here that help on the comment line and scroll up a bit, we will now see that the import path is now mentioned at the very top, just right after the directory. And similarly, if we go again to NX console and we hit generate library, this change will also reflect on the UI directly. So we will also now see the import path being mentioned alongside the more important flags or options that are available for this generator. Besides important, another X priority option is internal. Now this is usually hidden from the NX console UI because it's not supposed to be invoked by the end user, but might be rather just be used by some other generator that is invoking or wrapping an existing one. Now by specifying the X priority internal, it still shows up on the NX docs that are being generated and visible on our documentation website. We think this nicely optimizes the NX console UI and kind of declutters it, and at the same time doesn't overwhelm people that first open up that form and see all the tons of options that are available. So if you like this feature, definitely let us know in the comments. As usual, like and subscribe to not miss any future updates, and we will be chatting in the next video.